Grant, a, a one-all draw here at Sutton, right at the death drama at the last. What's the overriding emotion after that? Disappointed we didn't win. Is is the uh, is the emotion? Um, we should have two penalties, clear penalties. Um, it was just stop start. Every time there was half challenge in the middle of the pitch, the, the whistle blew. It wasn't a really good spectacle in terms of that because it, it, there was no flow to the game. Um, but we should have a penalty in the first minute of the game. Blatant penalty on Billy Billy Waters and he ends up getting booked for it. And then we should have a penalty on Jack Senior on this end. So it's, it's really, really disappointing when you see those and we've, we've seen them back and we thought at the time that they're, they're blatant penalties. Blatant penalties. Billy Waters, there's no, there's no need to fall there. He's going to score. Jack Senior and, and James Maxwell have combined him brilliantly. He's made a lo lovely little run inside him and he's just clipped him. But it is what it is. I'm really pleased with the response from, from conceding a, a poor sloppy goal from us. Really just a ricochet come in and and uh, Eastman's arrived on it in the edge of the box. And then we've responded and real calmness uh, and good composure from Joe Ironside to, to score that penalty. Given that those two previous decisions that you referenced went against you, were you expecting anything when the, when the third one occurred? It, it didn't seem like a clear cut decision everyone was a bit confused I think that's a penalty as well I, thought, I don't know where you were set but from where we were it was you could see Bazana's coming right through the back of the iron side. but were you expecting to get it probably not um, having, having not got the first two um, I do think that one's probably less of a penalty than the other two if, you, if that's 100% I'd agree with that um, but really good composure for Joe to, to, to slot it away always Joe yeah, he missed his, I think he missed his last one, didn't he, at Notts County. I don't think he's taken one since then, has he? Um, so good composure from him to, you know, to place it down um, and put it away for us because uh, you know, it, it was an important penalty in, in that stage of the game. What did you make of your side's performance overall? Um, look, I thought it was a iffy game, really. I thought it, was, it was, wasn't much football played in the game. Um, what I said to my team is that you know that we need to trust ourselves a bit more because I see it every single day on them uh, in training, um, and they're, and they're well aware of that. But sometimes when you're coming to a place like this, it's never going to be pretty. Um, you've got to make sure you're picking up and, and landing on second balls and being good in duels, um, defending long throws and set players because both sides they had long throws with Jackson and and uh, I can't pronounce the, the left back's name on the other yeah. side. Um, but they they kept putting balls in there and we had to defend and we had to be strong and. Um, We've done that for the majority of the game. Is there a bit of a, a relief all, all round after today? Not really, no. Um, like I said during the week in my press, we, we came here to try and win the game. I think if we get the penalty, well, we should have the penalty in the first 30, 40 seconds. The game looks differently from there um, because it's a, you know, from their point of view, they're probably seeing this as a must win game today. Yeah. So that's what we're up against, and it's difficult that, you know, and. Um, but we didn't, and we didn't get the one in the second half. And ultimately, you know, we, we paid the price for uh, maybe not tracking a runner into the box. Um, but again, like I say, good response. When you set this game up, and it's must not lose. Was that was that the mentality? And with you know, in, in the ninetieth minute, you, the gap's down to four. Is that on your mind at all? No, no. I would never set my team up just must not lose, ever. Um, always set my team up to win, um, regardless of what position we are in the league, whether we're in the top seven or we're in where we are at the minute um, so uh, we set the team up to win we, sh we had chances Billy had a couple of good chances in the first half a couple of things flashed behind them you know when we got to the, tech, the top areas we looked like we were threatening um, probably second half we didn't do that enough um, but uh, overall look we'll take the point we'll move on our home games are really important for us 17 left and uh, let's see where we go you've ended the game with what five attackers on the pitch that's you saying we need or want something from this game I wish I'd have done it earlier. Um, we were bringing Molyneux on and, and Taylor on just before they scored. Um, that's always the way when, you, when you're about to make a change and the team scored. So that wasn't a reaction of them scoring. We were doing it before that. Um, but it was just as disappointing that they scored at that time. Timothy, what do you make of his debut? Very good. Very good, yeah. Uh, really composed on what he was doing. Very aggressive off his line. Obviously, he's strong kicking in, into that wind. Um, but yeah, he was good could tell by his reaction just how pleased he was that Joe Ironside took that penalty away because it seems to matter a lot to the lone players you've got that extra yard I mean Billy Waters running to advertising hoardings after, after what's gone on in midweek I mean it must be really pleasing to see 
it's, I, I've said it all along, we've got a really good, honest group of players. Uh, what I said to them after the game is I want them to trust themselves a bit more um, because there's some good, real good footballers in there. Um, today, there's a lot of players that I've brought into the football club and the ones that have stayed is the ones that I have a lot of trust and faith in. So they have to understand that I've got that trust in them. Now I want them to trust themselves to go and perform and, and be more brave. Not, I'm not saying we're not brave, but be braver to take the ball, get on the ball, make things happen, take somebody on 1v1, create something, go and score, you know. Um, because that's the sort of language I want my team to be thinking. Um, but I'm sure, look, when you're on a, a bit of a run that we were on previous to this game, maybe there's a wee bit of tension in some in, in, at moments in the game. Um, but I'm just pleased and uh, really pleased for Joe because he, he's worked his socks off all day and got battered about, about up there. And uh, to be composed like that in the 94th, 95th minute is, is a testament to him. Uh, a stat kind of provided by one of my colleagues informs me he won 21 aerial duels today, which is double more than anyone anyone else on the pitch. That's phenomenal, really. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's, he's I'm, I think he's getting back to form. I think, he, like, personally, I sat, I sat with Joe and I said, look, let's get back to what you're good at, mate. You know, and uh, what you're good at is getting a grip of the game, getting a hold of people, being, being tough to play against. Um, I think he's shown that in the last two games at Bradford and today. Um, hence why he gets his just rewards right at the end with that penalty, so I'm delighted for him. You've had kind of a tough week, haven't you? How have you come through it as a group? Yeah, obviously disappointing, losing two of the boys on, on Tuesday. Jay McGrath's um, a bit strange, really. He's, he's felt he, he could carry on at half-time. As soon as he ran onto the pitch, he's felt his hip flexor. Um, so we had to make a change. Fortunately, we could do it before the whistle started and gives us that opportunity to use the extra sub. Um, but yeah, look, it's um, just a young, lo young lad who probably still trying to understand his, uh, his body. Yeah, I was going to ask about Jay, so you've kind of preempted that, but to come from a, a goal down at the end of such a bruising week on some tough pitches as well, it must be pleasing. Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased, I'm pleased with the lads. I'm pleased with the lads today. Kept going, kept grinding, kept getting after the game, you know, one nil down, I didn't see anyone feeling sorry for themselves. Uh, and I think we just got our, our just rewards at the end.